Welcome to join Marine Boy TV. This channel will provide ISM advanced course to shipboard and shore base officers to improve ISM skill for job site effectively. Okay, let's fly high with ISM. Thank you. This is the index of a whole lecture. From 1. Memorizing ISM code each chapter to 20. Countermeasures against PSC inspect. For more details, you'd better to check it out. Lecture 2. Index 1. Commentary ISM code chapters. This is ISM code. ISM code is consists of chapter 1 to chapter 16. Chapter 1, general and objectives. Chapter 2, safety and environmental protection policy. 3, company responsibilities and authority. 4, designated persons. 5, master's responsibility and authority. 6, resources and personnel. 7, development of plans for shipboard operation. 8. Emergency preparedness. 9. Reports and analysis of nonconformities, accidents and hazardous occurrences. 10. Maintenance of the ship and equipment. 11. Documentation. 12. Company verification, review and evaluation. 13. Certification and periodical verification. 14. Interim certification. 15. Verification 16 forms of certificate. As you see, 14, 15, 16 is color is a little bit different. Why? Because it is mainly used in certification forms. Therefore, shipboard and shipping company mainly not used. Chapter 14, 15, 16. 1. Commentary ISM Code Chapters. So, until now, uh, last lecture, uh, you, you studied chapter 1 to chapter 8. Today, lecture 2 starts from the chapter 9. Chapter 9, reports and analysis of nonconformity, accidents and hazardous situation. 9.1, NC is nonconformity, nonconformity etc. to be reported, investigated and analyzed. 9.2, Establish procedure for implement of collective actions. Chapter 10. Maintenance of ship and equipment. 10.1. Establish procedure. Ship is maintained by rules and regulation, etc. 10.2.1. Inspection held at appropriate intervals. 10.2.2. Any nonconformity is reported with causes. 10.2.3 Appropriate corrective action is taken. 10.2.4 Records of activities are maintained. 10.3 Identify equipment and technical system which make a sudden operation failure result in hazardous situation. Also, promote the reliability of above-mentioned equipment and technical system. Also, measure and include regular test for standby arrangement. 10.4 10.2 inspection and 10.3 measure to be maintained routine. Chapter 9. What is nonconformity? It comes from the ISM code. Definition 1.1.9. What is a nonconformity? Nonconformity means an observed situation where objective evidence indicates the non fulfillment of a specified requirement. 1.1.10. What is a major nonconformity? Major nonconformity means an identifiable deviation that poses a serious threat to the safety of personnel. Or ship or a serious risk to the environment 
that requires immediate corrective action or the lack of effective and systematic implementation of a requirement of this code. Then how many kinds of nonconformity on board? Which we say that three, one, shipboard system activities deficiency. When it when you make a system activity on board, when it can find the deficiencies, we can say the shipboard system activity deficiencies. Number two, PSC inspection deficiencies. Number three, internal external audit and cross survey deficiencies. We have three counts of deficiency on board. And how many kinds of nonconformities in SMS? Number one, major nonconformity. Number two, minor nonconformity. Number three, observation. NC means nonconformity. Next is explaining chapter nine, nonconformity control procedure. Okay, when shipboard, some master and chief engineer identify nonconformity on board. First step, writing nonconformity report. Number two, step two, you have to analyze what is the cause and take corrective action. So, Analysis is completed and corrective action completed and you have to check again and it's okay. Then you send this report to the company with evidence. Then company review nonconformity report is correct and analysis and corrective action is performed properly. Okay, then company review and company sign. Then is completed within the company. Then this document completion and return to the ship. And master receive this document and sign with the completion uh, record from the company. Then this one nonconformity is completed. This is a nonconformity control procedure. Please remember, it's very simple everybody has to remember because some port PSC can ask a question to the officers and this procedure where you can where can find in the your procedure open book like this okay number three purpose of nonconformity reporting why we have to make a report and send to the company for prevention number two for no recurrence number three continuous improvement for three above mentioned uh, we have to analyze and take a corrective action and make a non-conformity report with evidence to the company number four non-conformity to be completed within three months. Chapter 10, Supplement to Maintenance. Number one, what is critical equipment? Definition is a sudden operation failure of critical equipment or system may result in hazardous situation. That kind of equipment and system is, we say that critical equipment. For example, that department we find a radar, gyro, steering gear, windlass, etc. Engine department, main engine, auxiliary engine, steering gear, electric system, etc. And this critical equipment is already identified by the company because this one is a requirement from ISN code chapter 10. Number two. Where can you find it in your SMS procedure? This is a normal question by the PSC. So when PSC on board, some officers, all officers has to prepare 
what is the critical equipment? What is the definition of critical equipment? In the deck department, what kind of critical equipment we have? Engine, what kind of critical equipment we have? Okay, this all contents, where we can find, where we can find in our procedure. So you open the book and uh, please show them the PSC. Chapter 11, Documentation 11.1, Establish and Maintain Procedure to Control Safety Management System Document and Data 11.2.1, Valid SMS Document to be available at all relevant location 11.2.2, Change to Document to be reviewed and approved by authorized personnel 11.2.3, Obsolete documents should be promptly remo removed. Chapter 12 Company Verification, Review and Evaluation 12.1 Internal audit on board assured to be carried out within 12 months. 12.2 Periodically verify those delegated ISM tasks. 12.3 Periodically evaluate effectiveness of SMS. 12.3 is the purpose of the internal audit. Why we have to carry out internal audit? To evaluate the effectiveness of the shipboard safety management system. 12.5 Personnel carry out audit to be independent. This means if auditor is a member of the engineering department, he cannot audit his department. 12.6. Result of audit reviewed to be brought, brought to personnel. 12.7. Management person take timely corrective actions. Chapter 13. Certification and periodical verification. 13.1. Ship should be operated by the company who holds document of compliance DOC. 13.2. DOC. Document of compliance should be issued by the administration. 13.3 DOC only valid for ship type for ship indicated. 13.4 DOC validity. 13.5 Withdrawal of DOC and SMC. In what case DOC and SMC is withdrawn? And next 13.6 to 13.14 will be continued next lecture when we make a lecture for the certification we will continue. Chapter 12 Periodical Verification This diagram showing how to improve the safety management system. First, internal audit. Internal audit should be carried out within one year, within 12 months. The purpose of the internal audit of the shipboard is to verify effectiveness of safety management system of shipboard and also show base. And what is the master's review? The purpose is to provide the data for management review to the company. And what is the purpose of the management review? Is to establish New Year's revised policy. That is uh, tools how to improve the safety management system. Next is the contents of master's review. Master how make a how prepare master's review this master's review should include following items number one accident dangerous situation during the last one year how many kinds of accident and dangerous situation has happened and this one should be analyzed with its causes and report to company number two Shipboard non-conformities. During last one year, 
how many nonconformities identified on board. This one also analyzed and its cost to report to company. During last one year, how many times of PSC inspection was held and other, how many deficiencies comes out uh, from the PSC inspection. This one also analyzed and with causes and report to company. Last internal audit, external audit, and uh, class survey, if there are some deficiencies, this one also analyzed with its causes and report to company. As a master's request, it's a normal request from the special request. Not completed, any item is okay. Number six, key performance index. Key performance index means what? Normally, company give the some target to the ship and show base. So, compared with last year, we have completed this item 78%, 80% like this. If there is a uh, last year's big target is uh, uh, oil pollution zero and you met the target, then it's 100% like this. This form should be provided by the company. So all these six, about six items as a fulfill and analyzing its causes and also report to the company. And also master's review, sometimes PSC on board, PSC asking the master, master, what is the master review? Can you explain? Okay, why you make master's review? Where you, can you find this contents in your procedure? Captain, you have a last year's master review report on board. This four kinds is a normal question by the PSC. Please remember. Okay, today, finish my lecture. Okay, waiting for next lecture. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, alarm. Thank you. Bye.